I have a surprise. Ignore this because this is not a part of it. These necklaces, they're not a part of it. But I have a surprise for you guys. I'm collaborating with Anna Luisa. Um, I'll put everything down below in the description box. Um, yes, so I'm going to talk more about it in the next clip. But yeah. So the first jewelry I got said mama on it. The reason why I chose it because is because um, I really love my mom. I don't really get her stuff for Christmas at all. So this is the first thing I'll probably be getting her. Like the first ever thing. It's dipped in 14k gold and it's just beautiful. It was created by actress and new mom Daniela Monet. Because it has a tiny BB heart at the end of its extender and like come on who doesn't want it right okay so the earrings that I got oh my god they're so pretty I hope she wears them like forever because they're so freaking pretty so every pair is a one of a kind art piece so it's like a little painting on your ears huh uh, get these gorgeous articulated drop earrings and style them with a dainty gold necklace and a summer white dress i think you can wear this with anything that you want white would be the best to like pair it with because it'll make it pop because of the little blue um i just think it's so pretty it's retro it's modern and it's artistic like it's artsy i feel like if you get this as a gift for someone i think they're gonna really love it because it's so detailed so pretty it's so neat it's so clean and it's 14k gold okay so if you haven't watched my previous videos i'm gonna tell you a little bit more about anna luisa okay let's go um they offset 100 percent of their carbon emissions starting with the sourcing of their raw materials all the way to the disposal of their pieces jewelry starts at 39 dollars and up so you know if you can't afford it if something's going on at the moment you can save up, you can wait, you don't even have to. But if you do want to, it starts at $39. So the reason why it starts at $39 is because it's recycled and it's very detailed. So it's handcrafted, it's handmade. So I think that's why it starts at like $39. And the best thing about Ana Luisa is you can refund or replace if the piece that you don't if the piece doesn't meet your expectations, um, which is impossible because they're so pretty. But yeah, Ana Luisa is having a 2020 holiday sale. It started on December 2nd to December 26th. So you don't have that much time. Go, 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 go. In the U.S., you buy one, get one 40% off. And, and you get a free travel case. What? International, you get, you buy one, get one 40% off. But you guys don't get the free travel case. I'm so sorry. But if you're in the U.S., bitch, you're in luck. Have fun. Okay, that's it. It's me, Betty from Betty's World, and back with another video. Please check out my TikTok, it will be here on the screen, my Snapchat, and my Instagram. Yeah, um, today's video, I did a poll on my YouTube channel asking whether you guys wanted to see a how to gain followers or how to gain fame on TikTok or how to uh, become confident in yourself, just like, yeah, confidence. And I'll tell you guys what you chose in a second. I'm gonna wait for you guys to like, comment, and subscribe first. Please. I'm gonna count down to five. Four. Three. Wait, let me count in Swahili. And then count six. No, that's French. Is it French? Huh? And then talk. That's French, yeah. Moi am bilita to ine. Okay. Moi am bilita to ine. Huh? Now I'm forgetting Swahili. Moya. Bili. Tatu. Ine. Damn. Now I'm forgetting. I think I forgot. But anyways, yeah, make sure to subscribe, like, and comment, and laugh. And yeah, let's get let's get started. I put them in section. Look how organized I am, guys. You guys would be proud of me. Look at that. With this marker. Marker. Okay. The first thing is attitude. If you're mean to yourself, if you're mad at yourself all the time, and you're around your friends, it's pretty obvious when you're just like really deeply not insecure but like when you're deeply when you have a deep hatred for what you look like or how you act or just in yourself so when when you work on yourself by being yourself that also helps other people become themselves like if you meet a stranger and you're automatically yourself that makes them comfortable i'm not saying you should talk to strangers but girl but when you're just talking to a stranger and you're yourself they're gonna notice how confident you are because you don't care 
about what the other person thinks except about yourself i'm a boy guys sorry if that doesn't make sense okay the next thing give yourself a prep 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 pep talk like affirmations i have affirmations on my wall yeah i have an affirmation app too because like i have those days where it's like kind of shitty mm -hmm. so like when you pep talk yourself when you tell yourself like oh i got this oh i'm good because like i noticed something i didn't think this was real i was like what the fuck what, what does pep talk have to do with anything it's not gonna affect me it's not gonna help but it really does like this one time i was um i was in class i think math class yeah that's i embarrassed myself in my class all the, I tell you. All the time <laughs> <laughs> Um, I'm not gonna cut this out. I'm really not. Basically, giving yourself a, a pep talk, not talking negatively on yourself. Like in math, I don't like math. I don't understand it at all. But if I just tell myself, "Oh, I got this. Oh, I can do this," saying that really does have an effect on your mental um, behavior, mental ability, and your child. Okay, breathe, breathe, literally breathe. Just breathe, like. Right now, stop. Breathe. Breathe four times. In, out, in, out. Meditate. Meditation is key. Meditation is key. I just don't like doing it because I'm like, bitch, I'm an overthinker. Okay, number four. Treat others with respect. I already said this, but like, respect others. Literally, that's just that simple. You learn that in elementary school. But if someone doesn't respect you, that doesn't mean I'm not trying to like fuck this shit yeah I'm gonna say it. if someone doesn't respect you don't give them don't give them that respect it's that simple like respect should be both both ways you can't give someone respect if they're not giving it back to you that simple period learn to say no if someone not all the time because then that's just a little rude baby girl but like learn to say no if someone's like hey do you want to smoke and you're not into that then say no please because you might regret it it's like i was i'm not i don't really like smoking i don't like smoking or vaping i want to try it one day but not right now um i was in the bathroom and this girl was like hey do you want to vape I was like no i'm good literally all you have to do please learn to say no no is key you're not gonna get peer pressure okay number five i think don't pretend you're someone you're not literally if you act a certain way at home that you that's completely different when you're around your friends mm, baby girl the people you hang around with mm, that's a little off please make sure you hang out with people that um support you and understand you and respect you smell good i'm telling y'all smelling good is key like not just in confidence but just in yourself like if you smell yourself like when you're walking you're like i smell good that gives you more confidence like i feel like perfume cologne this video again is not specifically for one gender this is for everyone um sexuality wise gender wise or non-binary wise you know um yeah so smelling good cologne perfume whatever i would smell like i love oh my god i love smelling people i sound like a pervert that's so weird to say yeah I, like when people pass by through the mask of course wear your masks through the mask you could smell them like that cologne perfume Jesus Christ, it smells amazing. Find a confident walk. Literally, everyone has a certain walk, you know? You just gotta own it. Like, when you're walking in the hallway or wherever you're at, have that walk. Have that confident walk like you're the shit. Sometimes you just gotta remember that you are it, you know? You yourself, it doesn't matter what you look like, the weight, your body, you're literally, you are it, you are the shit, period. Deal with failure, literally, sometimes, not everything's gonna go your way and you have to understand that that's how things are that's just how reality is not everything's gonna go perfect that's so depressing if you're not into drama don't do don't do any drama don't befriend people that are into drama because i think <sighs> i'm not into drama so i try my best to keep out of it drama for what for what reason Everyone's just trying to survive their teenage years. So try to survive years, baby girl. Next one. Remember, no one is perfect. I already said this. Not everything's going to be perfect. Failure is 
um, inevitable. Oh my god, I'm so smart. <laughs> okay, surround yourself with supportive people. I already said this. Please, please surround yourself with people that support you. And if they simply don't, cut them off. And if you're not into, like, cutting people off, slowly just start drifting them, like, drifting away from them. Not meaning, like, oh, I'm, I'm gonna yell at you and then we're gonna stop talking. Like, just stop talking to them daily, you know? If they just don't feel your energy, you know? No, I forgot one thing. Um, change is necessity and change is necessity, who? Huh? Change is necessary and normal. Most teenagers feel like in their lifetime everything's gonna go perfect, everything's gonna be perfect, but at the end of the day, change is really necessary. Like, without change, you wouldn't be who you are today. I know you're watching this, I can see you through the camera. <laughs> nah, but um, yeah, I feel like change is really how people become, you know? Without change, we wouldn't be who we are. Like, without me changing, without me experiencing the did the things that I have experienced in my lifetime, I wouldn't be here looking like a little hippie, looking sexy as always. I wouldn't be who I am, you know? So change, you have to understand change is necessary. Okay, number two, fashion. Find a style that fits your personality and body. Like, everybody's different. Not, not literally everybody. Every, everybody. And not everybody, but every human body is different. So finding a style that fits your human body and your personality, bitch, bitch. You are a baddie. You, it doesn't even matter the style. Like you could dress like me. You could dress like um, a baddie. You could dress like Y2K. You could dress however, you could dress emo. As long as your, it fits your personality and you're confident with that, that's all that matters. Make sure what you wear is clean. Like, please make sure what you wear is clean. Like, clean as in not dirty, you know? Like, but then again, I'm not, because that's, that's also like putting a line to what confidence is. Because confidence isn't just clothes, you know? Like, I'm gonna cross this off. Bitch, if, you're, if your clothes are dirty and you can't wash it, bitch, you're still a baddie, okay? Like, if you can't afford a laundry or whatever, you're still a baddie. I'm gonna cross that off, shit. Be confident with your body. Treat your body like an ancient temple. Not religiously, I'm, I'm not really religious like that, but like, meaning, respect your body, like... I'm not trying, I don't know, I feel like some of you guys are going to think sexually, like sexual wise, but you could do whatever the fuck you want to with your body, like, you could have sex with seven people with that body, you're giving it once, so you could do whatever you want with it, but at the end of it all, please take care of your body, as in, wash it, like, isn't that so weird to talk about, like, I'm inside my body, I'm experiencing the human body, I'm, I'm like, what, like right now? Oh my god, I'm going crazy. Just like take care of your body, wash it, clean it up, pamper it, do whatever you want with it. Um, and I forgot to say that if you also have body hair, um, this is one topic that I was kind of nervous to talk about, but if you have body hair and you are nervous to like flaunt it or like show it off, please don't be nervous. I will show you guys mine right now. She, ah. Jesus Christ, I'm going to cut this off. Oh my god. But yeah, um, not the hair. Yeah, don't be nervous about body hair. Body's hair is really normal. Without, if we didn't grow it, then why is it there? Huh? Why is body? Because like society, specifically men, made women, f women feel like body hair is disgusting and nasty. I have a poem about it. I'll insert it here somewhere. Um, I'll also tell you guys my TikTok. Please go follow it. Um, I have a poem on body hair because it's such a, a sensitive topic and some people feel so disgusting to talk about it Like they feel so disgusted and it's like it's, it's a human body if we with, if we didn't grow it Why is it there everything that's on our body was meant to be there and I'm not talking religiously, but like It's here for a reason baby So own up to it and if you're that type of person that just loves shaving the smooth feeling of shaving bitch That's okay. Like that's fucking cool like, some people are really different. Some people love um, hairy armpits, and some people don't. And that's perfect. You have to respect both both ways, you know? Okay, next, show some skin or don't. Like, if you're Muslim, 
and you just don't prefer I'm talking about religion I know it's such a sensitive topic but if you're Muslim and you don't like showing skin bitch that's amazing you still look good you still look fucking amazing and if you're just not religious or if you are religious and you just like showing skin bitch that's fucking great do you you know like show skin or show or don't show confidence is literally up here it's never really down here it's just up here smile because you look good and if you don't want to smile bitch then don't smile don't ever let anybody tell you smile you look prettier when you're when you're smiling huh huh wait a second don't disrespect me like that stand your ground again with number one attitude stand your ground if you're into something if you're into someone if you're waiting for something don't wait go for it wear clothes that make you feel like you're the shit and um that don't make you feel like you have to fit society standards of beauty like for example if you are um thick i don't like saying overweight because that's just no if you're thick if you're vomblicious um or skinny because i feel like society yes the standard beauty for america is skinny but the people underweight um, and that aren't suffering with mental illness that just built like that knowing that you are the shit owning up to it and like finding clothes that fit good on your body that look good on your body that makes you think they look good on your body that's key the last thing I gotta hurry the last thing is embrace your roots meaning like for a long time I didn't really appreciate I didn't I, I was embarrassed of me being African uh, because in America, where I lived for a long time, my name was considered weird. My first name, Kabiswe. Kabiswe. It's pretty. Like, now I flaunt it. I, I tell everyone about it because it's so pretty to flex. It really is a flex. So, like, remember your roots. Remember the languages that you speak, if you speak more than one language. Remember that you are the shit. Remember where you came from. If you're Native American, oh my god, if you're Native American... Hit me up, eh? Hit me up. Comment down below. Hit me up. Um, if you're Egyptian, hit me up. If you're Arabic, hit me up. You know, any race, hit me up. <laughs> embrace, embrace your roots. Embrace your traditional culture. Embrace your traditional clothing. Embrace your natural hair because at the end of the day, you were given it once in a lifetime. You literally have this one body. So embrace it, you know? Eat your traditional food. Don't be embarrassed of that because if you're embarrassed, that just shows that you're insecure and you're not confident with who you are. Like, work on your insecurities. The next one is work on your insecurities. Everyone has insecurities in this world. Um, meaning body-wise, mentally-wise, fingers-wise, like, work on that. Change is good. Change is necessary. Like, I have things I have to work on and I'm still doing it right now. Like, I'm working on it, you know? You always have to have that mindset like you are not perfect right now. There's things that you also as a person need to work on. So remembering that is always key. I just want to mention that these jewelries that I'm wearing in the video are not Anna Luisa. Please, please, please don't expect to find the jewelries, these specifically on my neck, on Anna Luisa. These though are on Anna Luisa. I love working with them again because they respect the environment that we are on, huh? They expect they ex they res they respect the fact that we are on Earth and the fact that we should respect nature. Like I love that. They know I'm spiritual. I like that the fact that they understand climate change. They understand how humans are treating Earth, Mother Nature, and they respect that by recycling. So a company that recycles what? Pretty cool, pretty crafty, pretty cool. Could get a gift for your parents, for your sister, for your family, for your mother, for your... <gasps> There's like ankle bracelets. I wanted one so bad. Buy one for me. No, don't buy one for me. I'm No, 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 no. Buy one for you, but like I'll, it'll be in my heart that you bought one. Okay, thank you guys so much for watching this video. Please make sure you check down, check out the description box down below. Um, make sure to subscribe, like, and comment. I'm waiting. One, two, three, four, five. Subscribe, comment, and like. And I'll see you guys next time. Bye.